Now, I remember you were telling me off camera last time that, that Future was actually with y'all. When, when, yeah, you know, Rico told me because I think, uh, you know, Future's Rico's family, so. That's like his cousin or something. Right, when we were yeah, working on you know, some records, you know, Future was at the Dungeon East. I mean, actually the Dungeon West over there at Rico's spot. He was up in there dipping in and out, you know. All the Dungeon family was dipping in and out. And, you know, that was a spot, man, where everybody was coming through. And come chill, relax, kick it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Future was up in there. Was he actually recording anything or just watching? I don't know. You know, I was shit. I was. He used to help me get weed when we was out there. You know, yeah. I, I, back then, I think Future was trying to, you know, get his crack. And he was, you know. Yeah, he was working back then. Right. You know, I definitely think he was on the mic. I mean, definitely, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody was trying to get on the mic. It was like the Rico spot was where you go. and. If the slot is open, man, you in there. They just be making a beat. Future will be in there. I'll be asleep. Everybody else is playing the game, doing something else. And Future will be like, what's up with that beat? Well, you like it? You got something for it? You, you damn right. Boop. That's where they dropping. discover Nivea. Right. Nivea. Tequila. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nivea. Shit. Ooh, she was killing them back then, boy. Are you surprised the future is where he is right now? I tell you the truth, not really. You know, because uh, you know he was dungeon. I'm excited for him. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you come from that type of surroundings, it's just like I tell all my youngsters, man. Look, if you hang around garbage, you know, all you'll do is be trash. So, you know what I'm saying? When you hang around all of that type of magic, yeah. it's only a matter of time before, you, you know, especially because one thing about anybody that was at the dungeon, they wasn't just there kicking it, they was also learning. Being around Rico and Ray, you can't help but learn something. Well, I, well, I remember that when I interviewed Future this one time, this was like maybe three, four years ago, after we came out the interview, we come out and, and Rico was right there. Like so he he was keeping them like I don't know if they're still working together, but I remember back then. It's his family right there. Yeah. You know so what right saying? then they was they was fucking with each other. So it was, it was dope to see that that generational kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's his real family. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It's only right that uh, especially when you watch him blossom into this great artist. You know, it's different than watching an artist blow up into something, and it's not your family. Like, I've seen so many people blow up in this, a lot of things, but when I seen my brother David do it in the Roscoe, it was just different. Yeah. Same process, but just different. So I know Rico had to love it. Kendrick was, he had a ball with it. He was just laughing like, man, Krub, you crazy. You know, I've Kendrick cool. loved me, man. He was just hey. like, man, you know. I mean, what else was it but love? Coming from this environment, what do you think is happening that, that's making making things this bad right now? Like, people ain't like, everybody ain't getting money. Like, that's what's making it bad. Like, everybody ain't getting money. Like, everybody ain't got, like, what it take to, like, just go up and go get some money. Like, everybody ain't got that. 